Part 1. Maintaining the rug for daily use. 1. Shake out debris. If you find your rug picks up large amounts of dirt or debris, start by shaking it out. Take it out to an area that you don't mind getting dirty, such as a garage or a yard, and shake the rug by raising one end in your hands above your head and bringing your arms down quickly. This will help expel any large debris. 2. Beat the rug. To help get out finer dirt and dust, hang the rug up in an open area such as a yard and use a rug beater or a tennis racket to beat the dust out of the rug. Firmly but gently hit sections of the rug with the racket, working your way from top to bottom, and moving over once you've completely cleared a section. Beating the rug may not always be necessary, but it can be especially helpful if you keep it in a place that is prone to dust or high foot traffic. It is also a good alternative if you are unable to vacuum your rug. 3. Vacuum the rug. Use a suction-only vacuum such as a hand vacuum or the upholstery attachment for your vacuum hose to finish cleaning the rug. Using the beaters on your vacuum is less effective and may cause more wear to the fibers. Instead, use a strong suction setting to help pull out any dirt and debris that has settled in the fibers and on the underlay. Weekly vacuuming is recommended, even if you cannot see any soiling. Regular vacuuming will help prevent buildup of unwanted materials, keeping the rug looking fresh every day. Part 2. Treating the rug for stains. 1. Blood spills as they happen. Moisture of any kind can warp the weave of sisal and lead to browning of the fiber, so it is important to address spills as they happen. Blot the spot dry with a clean towel. Avoid rubbing, as this will only spread the moisture. Take note of whether the spill left a stain. Even a slight change in color at the time of the spill can quickly alter the color of the rug. 2. Treat Potential Stains if you notice a stain forming, blot up the spill and then treat the area quickly. Use a brush or a sponge to apply a small amount of a mild fabric detergent to the area. Make sure the area isn't oversaturated with a cleaning solution. Follow immediately by blotting the area with lukewarm water and a clean, undyed paper towel or cloth. Continue to rinse until all sudsing has stopped. Any cleanser used on the rug should have a neutral pH, like mild dish soap. Check the label for a pH value of 7. If your stain is still there or there is an odor, use one part vinegar mixed with one part water for a cleaning solution. Use the same process for an oil-based stain, but opt for a tetra solvent instead of a mild detergent. 3. Dry the rug. If a sisal rug gets wet, even if it is just with water, it is important to dry the rug as quickly as possible. Use a low heat setting on a hair dryer or a large fan to help you get the rug to dry faster. Dry the carpet as soon as you can to avoid warping or additional water marking. Part 3. Maintaining a sisal rug. 1. Keep humidity consistent. Large fluctuations in humidity can lead to discoloration and degraded strength in a sisal rug. Try to keep your rug in a climate-controlled environment. If you notice large fluctuations in humidity in the area where you keep your rug, consider investing in either a dehumidifier or a humidifier. A dehumidifier may be more practical if you live in a place that is typically drier but has a humid period. A humidifier may be more useful if you live in a place that is typically more humid but has noticeable dry periods. If you experience one abnormally dry day but do not want to invest in a humidifier, hold a spray bottle filled with water well above the rug. Spray the air with water and let the mist settle on the fibers, moisturizing the rug. 2. Maintain consistent sunlight. Since sisal is a natural fiber, it can be bleached by the sun. It is fine to keep a sisal rug in the sunlight just so long as you ensure relatively even sun exposure across the rug. If sunlight only reaches a portion of the rug, it may bleach out that individual part, leading to inconsistent coloration across the rug. If your rug has been discolored by water, leaving it out in the sun for several hours may help bleach the fibers back to a more natural color. 3. Apply a fabric protectant. Fabric protectants made especially for sisal can help keep the rug looking better and make it more difficult for wet spills to stain the surface. 
Look online or at a home improvement store for a fabric protector meant for use on sisal. Use and wear will decrease the effectiveness of fabric protectants over time. Reapplying as you notice your rug getting dirty faster or as you find it is harder to fully clean the rug.